Diana. I'm stressing out right now because I totally messed up this whole stage manager thing. I've got a stage manager gig here and I really messed it up and ah, uh, it was only a weekend and they're never gonna want me to do a show ever again and ah. Uh. But anyway, I just wanted to take five seconds because I don't have that long because I'm going apple picking today to inform you of my night last night because it was hysterical. I and some people went to go see art galleries and then we came back and we were back by like mm, 12, 11 because the buses were messed up. And, uh, you know, throughout the night, like, we were chilling in my room, you know, I, like, watched some videos on YouTube, and we heard people outside, so we, like, looked out, so my friend and I looked outside, and we saw, like, these guys we know from down the hall, like, singing, they were very drunk, uh, and, like, so they were singing, uh, like, One Love, like, really loudly, but, like, alternating the lines, and then we went to, like, the drinking fountain to get water because we were gonna make hot chocolate, and, uh, on... On the way, at the, while we're at the drinking fountain, this guy passes us running, like wearing exercises, exercise clothes, like has his iPods in, running through our building, like inside. He is doing laps around our building. And then um, we go back and we hear, like we can smell in this room where these drunk guys are, like it just smells disgusting in there, like alcohol. And they're, you know, walking back and uh, uh, we go into our room. Like, and, you know, we're chilling. And then we hear noise outside. So we go back outside, and one of them is, like, shirtless, but wearing a lacrosse helmet. And it's, like, kind of stumbling around. It goes into another room. And we're just like, what? And so we were, like, standing out there laughing. And this girl walked by. I was like, what's up, guys? And we were like, nothing. And she was like, are you guys drunk? And we were like, no. No, we're so... They're drunk. <laughs> um, it was really funny. And then it, it gets weirder. Uh, we heard noise outside, so we went outside, and this guy, this guy is passed out, like, kind of halfway through his door, like, as if he was, like, sitting there talking to someone, and he, like, sort of, like, passed out, and so he's, like, kind of in his room, but not really, and he's on the floor, and partly in the hallway, so, like, we and these two other girls that are down the hall were trying to, like, wake him up, being, like, like, hello, hello, like, we were, like, yelling his name, we were, like, hitting his face, and he wasn't responding, so they were, like, well, let's get a sharpie right at him. I got a little worried because, like, I don't want someone to, like, die of alcohol poisoning. And if you're not responding, that's not a good thing. And so I, like, went to feel his pulse. All of a sudden, he started smiling and cracking up. He was just totally playing a prank on us. So then the Sharpie did come in handy. Um, but that was my night. It was, like, ridiculous. And for anyone, because people always seem to say that University of Chicago, no one here has fun and no one parties. I give you my night as a ex con contrary example. Don't drink, Hannah, because then you will end up running around shirtless wearing a lacrosse helmet. That's, that's the moral of the story.